All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to be showing you how to run a drain line with no slope in your yard whatsoever and how to discharge that line so it's the most effective it can be. So what we have going on here is the side of this home holds a lot of water when it rains, enough water where it can flood into the garage. This roof line right here, all the water just dumps off and it sits all along this concrete here in between the two houses. Now we're gonna run our drain line right where I'm showing my hand here and the back of the yard, we're gonna put a catch basin in this low spot because all the water falls off the roof here and it travels down that concrete and it just puddles into that low spot and it can't go anywhere because of the way the grade of the ground is back there. Um, we've ran the hose quite a bit in this area when we were here originally looking at it. So we have seen where the water pools up and where it wants to go. So when you're digging your trench, you always want to be careful because there are other pipes in the ground. Our line is going to be going along this main line that supplies water to the home. So now we're also going to be installing a channel drain right across where the door is. That way any water that starts to pool in this area can make its way into that channel drain and be carried off. Now we went ahead and we used a concrete saw in order to do this. It's a lot easier than using a grinder and a rotary hammer chisel since this was a longer distance to go because he, he is cutting all the way across that door plus he's going to have to cut all the way down to where our main line is that way we can sink a piece of pipe below that sidewalk and connect everything <laughs> now once you have all your concrete cut with your concrete saw the best way to get the concrete out is to use an iron pry bar and come directly down onto the concrete in sections just like Gandalf and you shall not pass and that cracks it into sections allowing you to then remove the concrete. So now at the end of our run here because we don't have any slope in the yard and there's no good way to daylight the pipe at the end of the sidewalk we're still going to make sure that our line is sloped in the ground. But once we get to the end here, what we're going to do is we're going to dig two feet down and we're going to use a clean out tee and we're going to put a grate on top of the clean out tee and we're going to put a two foot piece of pipe on the bottom and that's going to be inserted down into your two foot hole. And then once that's inserted down in there, we're going to be using drain rock the large drain rock that we use for our French drains, we're gonna be using it to dump down into that two feet piece of pipe that goes down to the ground. This way, your water will make its way all the way to the end. It will percolate down into the ground. And once it starts, the ground starts to become saturated and flood, the rest of the water will come up through the grate and it will flow to the road and it will no longer be a problem. And once the rain stops and no more water is entering your system and it has time to start drying out, there won't be any water left in the line because the water will go down into the drain rock and it'll slowly percolate into the ground. And eventually this will dry out the entire system so no water is left in the line. So now I'm using a four and a half inch hole saw to cut a hole through this fitting. Now this fitting is actually a six inch sewer repair coupling. That's right, it's a six inch sewer repair coupling that I had on hand and it's gonna make a perfect catch basin. This is like schedule 80 pipe. It's super strong and a grate fits the top of it perfectly. So we're gonna go ahead and insert that into the ground and we're gonna connect our main line into it. Now, as you can see, we have the entire system installed in the ground, and now it's time to start burying it up. All right, now we're mixing some concrete in the wheelbarrow to go ahead and fill these cuts back in. Now you always wanna make sure your concrete is at least four inches thick. So we went ahead and we added enough dirt to cover over our pipe, but we left four inches between that dirt and the top of the concrete. That way 
the concrete that we're adding will be nice and strong. And always tape off your channel drains when you're adding your concrete. It makes it so much easier. That way, you know, if you start getting messy with the concrete, as you can see what's going on right here, it's not a big deal because the channel drain is sealed off and concrete can't get down in there. I'm gonna be putting some drain rock down in this catch basin. That way, any water that's left over can just percolate through that drain rock into the ground. I'm gonna be actually using larger stone though for this catch basin. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and put the water hose in here and test out the system and make sure we have good fall on that pipe, which we should, because I always use a level as we're working to make sure all the pipe has good fall and water's gonna go in the direction that we want it to go. And as you can see, as soon as that catch basin fills up, it starts taking in water like a champ. And we're gonna go to the front here now, and you're gonna see the water's gonna slowly fill this up as it fills up that two feet pipe that's in the ground with the drain rock. And as the ground can't absorb anymore, it's gonna slowly start coming out of the top and it's gonna start coming going around it and then once that gets saturated enough and the ground can't take any more water around it, it's gonna start f slowly flowing over the sidewalk and into the road. Now, obviously, whenever possible, you know, we go underneath the sidewalk and we daylight the pipe directly at the road. That way the water can go directly in the gutter and no longer be a problem and not go across the sidewalk. But in this particular neighborhood, the sidewalk is directly connected to the road and there's no way to go underneath the sidewalk to the road because there's just no way to do it. The sidewalk isn't up high enough to even do that. So we're gonna go ahead and put our lid over our catch basin and screw that down. And that just about does it for this job. Now we went ahead and we just used some of those cut pieces of concrete to put around this catch basin with some drain rock around it just to help keep the soil and dirt out. The homeowner is actually gonna be redoing the landscaping in this backyard. So he actually wanted us to go ahead and do that because it's not gonna be like that for very long. And he said, just go ahead and do that so it keeps the dirt and everything out of the system for now. So we're gonna go ahead and put the grate on the catch basin and that just about does it for this job. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out, helps the channel grow. And if you live in the Tampa Bay area or surrounding counties and you're experiencing rainwater intrusion into your home or a soggy flooded yard, give us a call. We can come out there and assess the situation and help you design a custom drainage system that fits your needs. And until next time, this is Aero General Services signing off.